How's it going everyone? And as you can see, I've brought a crutch with me because unfortunately I'm injured, but I still turn up to work unlike, unlike most footballers. Um, join with me. I, look, he's back. I'm look, back. He's not an optical illusion. I'm he's actually back. here. I'm back here. from Hollywood. I'm back. I've you returned are. and you're worse than you ever thought, mate. Yeah, I mean, I think a lot of people watching this wished it on me and it came true. Well, that's cool. Let's go straight into so I've Spurs. Come back. I've come back to rescue the whole operation. Love that. All right, so we're going to start off with Spurs' three Lions. Yes. Uh, we've got loads of them playing. We had Kane, Walker, Deli Ali, and Andros Townsend. What do you think of the performances? I thought it was good. I thought it was pretty solid. Kane almost got a goal. Almost. I almost. Thought it was a bit I thought it was harsh. Yeah. I feel I'd... like if it was like John Terry or Eden Hazard that they did earlier this season, they'd give him the goal. It's just the way things are going for him at the moment. Yeah. He's got a sense of humour about it. He tweeted saying that they'd given him the goal when they hadn't. Yeah. So he's joking around, you know, it'll get out of his funk soon enough. Though. I've got faith. Yeah. It will get out of his funk soon enough and he'll be back, maybe, against Liverpool. Oh, Deli Ali. Deli Ali. Made his debut for the senior team. Great, and it, that officially makes us the team that have provided the most England players. Look at that. 74. Stats. Screw you, Aston Villa. 73, pathetic. Oh, yeah. I was kind of disappointed, though, that he didn't get a full game. I thought at least yeah. against um, Liverpool, he'd get a full game. I can understand it, though. He's young. You know, yeah. he's only just But it was already in the bag. In. I mean, did Hodgson really want that, those 10 out of 10 I wins? know. I think it's the same logic of Eric Dyer being in the 21s instead of the uh, uh, yeah. instead of the senior squad. Just give him time. Eventually, It'll they'll be in. extremely important to the English squad. Yeah. And the next Gerard of, um, Lampard. Jack Wilshers will be on these all season. Yeah. Hopefully, he won't make the Euros. And Deli Ali can just slide right in there. Jack Wilshere, exactly. hold this tightly. All right. <laughs> the next topic on Spurverts is going to be Mason and Bentaleb. Now, apparently, apparently, according to Physio Room, they're going to be fit for Liverpool this weekend. Interesting. How do you Very feel about that? I feel good about it. Obviously, that's good. We've got yep. options, more options. I would go with Bentaleb. That is suspended. Picked up a bit yep. of cheese. Yeah, he did. Unfortunately, he did. That's and a shame. it was wrongful. Wrongful cheese yeah. is always a bad thing. And he was gutted, wasn't he? Oh, he was Kicked so, the ground. Yeah, he was, he was trying to tantrum. Yeah, Love he it. stormed on. Yeah, he was really, really upset. So and this that's is fair a... enough. This is a big game. This is a really big game. So it's a good but... opportunity for Mason and Bentaleb to kind of one of them to yeah. slide back it's in the team. It's hard to say. It's hard to know which one to pick. I think you've got to go with. I think you've got to go with Bentaleb if yeah. you're going to play Ali. Because Ali and Mason are kind of both yeah, they like to bomb forward. Slightly, attack. yeah, they're a bit similar. And you, do, you wouldn't drop Ali at the moment, surely not. Nah, you couldn't. Surely not. Not with confidence on the rise. All right, so let's talk about Hugo Lloris. Whoop, whoop. It's the sounds of the Lloris. Now, he had a little interview with Sky Sports. And uh, we'll put aside the fact that he says we need to be more clinical and ruthless in front of goal. He ended by saying, and I quote, if we keep the same attitude and keep playing the same way, we'll win a lot of games. Kind of stating the obvious, but um, it's quite obvious. Although I, th uh, if he's saying that we need to be more clinical in front of goal, but mm. if if he keeps playing the same way we'll win games, he's essentially saying I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing. You guys need to up your games. Ah. This is terrible over there. Subliminal. Back here, we're smashing it. We well, conceded two goals against Swansea, mate. So yeah. Although he did make an amazing save in the last minute. But it's so good that enough. you know Lloris is actually showing that kind of confidence in yeah, our team. Yeah, it's good, especially given that like probably last time I was here, actually it was so long ago, we were talking about oh god, is Lloris going to go? Exactly. Please don't go. You were doing love messages. Don't forget camera to him, saying that you love him, time, calling him stuff. gorgeous, stuff like that. Stuff that made him feel quite comfortable. Um, but now he's sort of bedded in saying, no, we're doing really well. If we keep playing our playing, yeah. we're going to be successful. That's good. And he's kind of right. We do need to be more clinical. Yeah. Fair enough. At least he's, you know, he's getting it right. He knows what he's talking Lloris, about. Maurice, you can do no wrong, basically. We lad. agree with absolutely everything you say. Just don't go. That's that's all yeah. we want. All right, this has been uh, part one of Spurverts. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you drop it a like. Follow us on Twitter, at Spurred on TV. And Reese will take over in part two. Hello, welcome to part two of Spurverts. I am here with Darren Anderton. No, it is the injured Craig Mitch. Yes. Got injured playing football, to be fair. Mm. So at least you're keeping it on brand. Very. <laughs>